This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Hello. Am I audible? Am I audible? Can someone come from if you can hear me? Okay. So, good good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining this uh, demo. One one second.
Hey, so good morning to all. Uh, yeah. So this course is about uh, front end development, uh, Andy. So front end development, Andy. I mean, I, I'm assuming you all guys uh, are from Telugu, so that's the reason I'm talking in Telugu. So if anyone has a problem in this thing, so please just please interrupt me and say that. Okay, please speak in English. Okay, I'll do that. Not an issue. So. Coming to the point, uh, this course is entire about this enter. I mean, this course is completely about uh, front end development. When I say front end development, uh, it's all about what running in the browser, right? Uh, what runs in the browser? Every uh, normal website, every usual website, every usual web app. Uh, that is what runs in the browser. Okay, so so that's it. Okay, whatever runs in the browser, we are going to build it. Uh, how we are going to build it? that is what we are going to learn okay and what we are going to build it that is what we are going to learn that is what we are going to explore so this course uh, assumes that you people uh, are literally at basic level in uh, when it comes to front end ui development all right basic level in the sense okay very basic at programming and very basic at what uh, web development so this course literally uh, starts at html css javascript okay and then it moves further to advanced tools like react js and angular okay why it starts with html css and javascript in the uh, means uh, not sure how i should answer this i mean uh, you want to develop ui you want to develop applications uh, i mean this course literally aims to develop applications which are which runs in web browser right so what runs in web browser anything which is html runs in web browser anything which is css or anything which is javascript okay that is what uh, will run in web browser so if you want to put something in your web in, in your in your browser okay that something should be made with html css or javascript it's so i'm sorry it should be made with html javascript and of course css right 
So you cannot make anything apart anything without these three things, which runs in browser. If you want if you want to write something which runs in browser, it should be made with HTML and it should have JavaScript. Okay, of course, and it, it should also have CSS. So that is the thing, guys. So yeah, that's the reason we are going to learn these three things first, right? So once we learn these three things, what we are going to do is these things these three things are enough to get started but these three things are not uh, enough to get a job that's the point uh, these three things are, are also not enough to create any website okay i mean uh, html css javascript they will give you the foundation that's it but you don't literally build any app with these three things okay but if you still think that okay i will build only with these three things Right, only with HTML system and JavaScript means still you can build it. But do you know what? That effort will be literally very, very, very big. It will take a lot of time, a lot of effort, right? And uh, finally, it may result in unproductive, what we call, yeah, unproductive effort. Okay, so that is the reason, guys. We have some advanced tools, we have some efficient tools, which, which most of the engineers all over the world use today, right? One such famous tool is uh, reactjs.org, right? Yeah, one such famous tool, right? Engineers all over the world, okay, from Bangalore, London, UK, Tokyo, right? Uh, yeah, UI developers all over the world use ReactJS. Okay, there is one survey. In that survey, uh, yeah, right. people have searched ReactJS more times than what uh, than the word called orange, O R A N G E, right? You know, right? Orange is a fruit and color, and uh, there is a high chance uh, for that particular word to get searched, right? Why? Because it's most common. Uh, the point is, yeah, ReactJS was searched even more than that. So this is highly popular. Right, uh, you know, right, it was given to us by Facebook, Instagram uses it, Twitter uses it, uh, yeah, even uh, Microsoft uses it uh, for its, some of its applications. Uh, Google doesn't use it, that is other thing. So, lot of even, yeah, lot of lot of companies use it, a lot of companies use this thing, and this is one of the most easiest ones to get started. I believe if you know little basics in programming, especially JavaScript, and little basics in HTML and CSS, right? It is highly, highly easy. Uh, yeah, it is easy to get started, right? And anyone, okay, with very little effort in understanding the uh, architecture of this React library, yeah, they can easily get started. So that's the point. And another thing is React JS jobs are literally they are like what uh, spreading they are like uh, they are like what not sure how to say but yeah there are, there are a lot of jobs and people in lakhs 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 on this particular library you go you go to linkedin and just search react js i'm sure most of the front end jobs has what react js as its what main uh, requirement so learning react js will i'm sure in this 2021 it will not do any anything bad to you learning react JS, okay right if you put some efforts of course it will do much much good to you that is one thing right so there is a thing guys after learning html uh, css and javascript it is very very important to learn react js why because most of the engineers all over the world use react js to create highly efficient web apps which are running in the browser right html css and javascript will not uh, are not enough to get started uh, from a professional point of view or from technical point of view, right? So that is the thing, guys. And uh, yeah, this is a little introduction about why someone has to learn React JS and why someone has to learn HTML CSS and JS, right? And then let's talk about Angular. Okay, uh, since Angular is also part of this particular course, okay, let's talk about that thing also. So A N G U L A. R dot io. Let's see. Right. Okay. Good. So point is, 
ReactJS is totally enough. Okay, ReactJS has a lot of jobs than Angular, a lot of jobs uh, than what any other front end framework, and ReactJS is highly popular. I'm sure uh, if you are very good enough with the React, uh, I'm sure you will get interviews. Okay, and whether you crack it or not, that depends. So that totally depends on you, right? The way you get information, the way you practice it. Okay, that totally depends on you. But you will get a lot of opportunities at your uh, at your doorstep. That is one. That is that is true, right? Then why someone should learn Angular? The point is, I would say, yeah, why someone should should, should learn Angular? If if they literally focus on React, that is totally fine, right? Why? Because Angular is very when you, when you compare to the React and Angular, the job opportunities in Angular are very 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 less. Okay, but still there are considerable amount of job opportunities, which are what uh, yeah which can literally pay you what React opportunity pays you, right? And that is one thing, right? Angular has its own market share, right? If you see our Indian uh, railway system IRCTC app, right, that is built in Angular. Uh, almost all Google apps, okay? Google has around 600 projects, right? Uh, all over its things. So yeah, it is also built on Angular. Most of the, what we call the .NET projects, most of the .NET projects, since Angular, uh, yeah, some Angular is also like object-oriented uh, uh, code. Angular has, has what? Object-oriented code architecture. I'm sure many of you guys don't know object oriented. That's fine. Okay, leave about that particular point. But most of the .NET people has their front end built on Angular. Okay, I saw a lot of uh, projects, uh, a lot of .NET projects which has their front end built on Angular. So learning Angular also, learning Angular uh, also, okay, will not do any bad. Why? Right? Because yeah, it also has good amount of opportunities, right? But I'm sure you'll get a lot of interviews more on React and very less on Angular. And the thing is, the people who who what who interview on React, they'll also touch you. They'll also ask you, is there anything which you know apart from React? Or did you work on React at that time? Even though you didn't work, but if you still, uh, if you if you if you are good, if you think what uh, you know Angular, then say what about Angular also, right? It's always as a front-end developer, it is very important for a front-end developer. To have understanding, to have good understanding on more than one what front end tool. So if you know React and if you know Angular, that will literally what uh, make you understand front end development in a very in a what we call in a very big scope, right? In a very big. Uh, I mean, you will have good. You will you know two different architectures, so you will know what we call much more uh, deep understanding on what. Uh, front-end apps and their architectures. So yeah, these two things are very yeah important and very uh, what we call yeah useful for any front-end developer, right? Apart from this thing, there is also one thing which is not part of our course, but I want you to uh, what we call just know it, right? That is uh, Vue.js. Right, where it is? Yeah, here it is. Right. This UJS is not part of uh, our course, but I am sure uh, there are a lot of uh, other what we call there are a lot of uh, projects which are using UJS also, right? Uh, if you if you if you want me to rate okay all these three tools right now okay the more number of projects are used by React, and the second place goes to UJS, okay, and third place goes to Angular. So Angular is literally behind UJS. Right. If you see the number of projects all over the world which are which are using React, Angular, and Vue.js, right? React occupies the first position, and second position occupies the Vue.js, right? And Vue.js is not part of our course. But the point is, the basics which you learn in React.js, okay, and what you learn in Angular, okay, will literally make you get started with Vue.js. So this is not a what we call uh, a big thing once you are very good at React and Angular, okay? And uh, these three guys occupy a lot of the mar a lot of the job front end job market share, okay, all over the world, right? 
apart from these things okay if you still get front end job okay i mean most of the front end if you get a front end job the requirement will be on react or angular or finally view apart from these three things if you still get a front end job i'm sure the requirement will be on jquery or what some jquery or other stuff and what you do is run away from that particular job right why because whatever you are doing in jquery you can still do in javascript and writing plain javascript is 30 times faster than jquery so in these days there is no point in using jquery that is my point but do you know what there are some projects which still use some developers try to fit jquery in react and angular that is other thing right uh, but yeah these three occupy a large amount of market share so learning any two from these three right will literally may, will literally what give you a good foundation or good what uh, anything which can make you move forward in your professional career okay that's what i want to say that's what i want to introduce a little non technical introduction of all these three things okay and uh, if you find <clears throat> okay if you want to ask anything okay if you find anything okay just even though i'm explaining you can literally interrupt me right in the middle of my explanation right just feel free to do that right now let me get a little bit technical and everywhere you find uh, what something is going off from the what scope of your understanding just 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 ask me right don't think like what i will ask at the end just immediately ask me right okay guys uh i think a lot of stuff with non technical things jobs market that is uh, other things right i i just said those things why because i want you guys uh, realize how valuable these things these three things are right mm. that's it guys so uh let me uh, do one thing right now let me write some html css right and javascript and let me write some react js code also and uh, what i'm trying to say here is don't try to understand what i'm doing right now why because this is a demo okay and in this demo i want to show you the difference between uh, writing html css javascript and writing uh, react js code or writing angular code okay right i mean uh, in other words right now uh, what I, i mean in a, in very simple way okay in very simple words right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cook three different dishes and i want you to taste it right don't ask me uh, what is this what is what is it i mean you ask me i'm sorry i'm sorry to say this thing you can ask me anything but i'm not teaching you how to cook that dish right that will happen from day one that is from tomorrow or from when you start to learn right but right now i just want to show you uh, what i i'll, I'll just uh, create three dishes and i would just want you to have a taste of it right and i'm not going to teach you how to what uh, cook those dish right now i mean since this is a demo okay and while i'm cooking something okay i'm sure uh, you will have a lot of doubts just ask me what that ingredient is and what that why did you put that ingredient and why did you add more salt right you can ask me anything okay that's that's not a thing uh, you can ask me anything but right now guys i'm just going to start cooking right i'm not going to teach you how to cook uh, this particular dish right so in the same way guys i'm going to start developing apps right now in html css javascript and of course with react js right i'm not going to give you any technical introduction but i'm going to give you how these things right will give, will make us uh, what we call much better developer right i'm going to just introduce those things to you and uh, if you want to how any question just ask me all right and this is a purely demo purpose guys so i just want to uh, and this demo is uh, i just want to know you how easy it is with react js and angular i just want to let you know that i just want to i just want you to see that okay so first of all let me do in a hard code raw way with some what let me open this thing first my goodness where is this where is this okay so first first of all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do in a very raw way raw way in the sense writing some H css html and javascript and let me proceed in that particular way right now okay so let's say i'm going to create one folder and that folder will be let's say what um, 
experiments. Okay. Cool. And here I'm going to write, let's say, HTML. Take a look, guys. Right now I'm going to create something with with pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that will be very fast. Why? Because pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript browser is ready to understand it, right? If I literally speak to you in your native language, I'm sure you can literally understand much faster, right? Than uh, than my attempt of speaking to you in some other language, right? So in the same way, you every browser is designed to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? That's it. So whatever you write in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be right too fast than what you write in some other things. So yeah, let's write. So this is some HTML thing. Here, guys, what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, I'm gonna open a command prompt, right? I'm gonna open uh, a command prompt. Command prompt in the sense terminal, okay? Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open one editor in this particular folder, right? What is editor? Editor is just like a one software, uh, okay, where you write some code. That's it. So I open this editor. This editor is uh, VS Code, guys. This editor name is VS Code. I'll show that thing to you. All right. Uh, this is just a usual editor. You can literally download it and write some anything. Okay. You can literally write your own. Okay, create one file, right? And uh, then do anything. You can write anything here, not an issue. Now, guys, since we are going to write some HTML, we need a file, okay, which can accept HTML, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to create one file name with index.html as type, okay? If you see it, I created a file name with index.html. If you're going to write C program, Okay, you better have your type, file type with what? With C, right? Right now, okay, you can, you have to write some C program here. If you wanna write some C++, you better have your file type ending as what? CPP, okay? If you're writing some Java, right? You better have it as what? Dot Java, right? If you're better, if you're gonna write something like what? something like uh, Haskell, let's say HA or HA, or let's say, if you're gonna write something like Rust, just say RU, right? Or some Golang, just say dot go, right? So in this way, guys, every language has its own file type, right? From C, CPP, Go, Rust, Java, right? In the same way, HTML is also a language. Right, so HTML has its own file type dot HTML. That's it. So if you want to create a file, okay, uh, with the purpose of writing some HTML in it, just create it, but make sure you have, okay, you create. I mean, you, I mean, make sure you 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 make that file has HTML as its type. Okay, so that is it, guys. Okay, in software world, it is very easy to create files for different different languages. Just have their languages names as its extensions. It will work, right? Right. If you want to create some Python thing, just say dot py. Is it dot py? Dot py. Yeah, of course, dot py. Right. So yeah, I'm just renaming it to HTML again. HTML. That's it, guys. Right now, uh, what is HTML? HTML is a language, okay? With every language, what you can do is, uh, in software, I mean, in, in enter programming, with some language, you can write some programs, right? And those programs will give you one software. Isn't it, right? If you write some lot of C programs, that will give you one software, right? If you write some lot of Java programs, that will give you another Java software, right? So in the same way, Right, uh, HTML is a language, and whatever you write in that particular language will give you, right, one web app, okay, one website. Yeah. 
and that website will run in one what in one browser which is a software right every browser is also a software right and that web app can run in this particular browser right so what i'm going to do is i wrote this html right so i will open this html in the browser let's see let's go to html and let me open it you see i open this thing here right it has nothing in it so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it with some content okay let's see it right now so let's say html okay let's say some head tag why i'm writing like this why because that is a syntax right i mean when you're writing some uh some, when you're writing some english passage you start with some capital letter then you put full stop okay then some uh, wherever you have some interrogative statements you use question mark right that is how you have to write english that is how you have to write some other language also right in the same way since i'm writing html i'm following its structure okay i'm following its rules okay if i don't write in certain rules okay what will happen it will understand in a wrong way and i don't want that thing to happen you got it right so i want okay my code to be understood understood in a proper way such that it will execute uh, as fast as possible and as better as possible that's the reason i'm following certain rules and what these rules are how all these things will happen okay those things you will learn as part of your course this is just a demo so let me write some random thing and let me show you the result all right so yeah title some random one okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to write some body here okay and then create one section here okay and let's say hello world rld right let me see okay i wrote some code here and i'm looking for browser where is browser here it is so here take a look guys i wrote some code in index.html right and i'm opening the same index.html in the browser so let me open it where is it i'm looking for yeah so here you have index.html right and just asking it to open with the browser so i open with the browser and you see uh, i got some result okay now what i will do is i'll just put one button here let's say b u t t o n and let's say click here to increase right uh, and i will refresh the app so you can see the changes so you got one button here click here to increase and what i will do is okay take a look guys uh, here i will write some scripts okay and in the scripts what i will do is okay i'll just add one event let's say on click okay when someone clicks on this particular button i'll just say um, to call one function let's say that function is uh, function add or function increase right so i'll call this increase function here you got it right whenever uh, let me yeah so whenever someone is trying to click on this particular button you know right something is being called and what is that something that something is a block of code okay block of code in the sense okay whenever you're writing uh, imagine you're writing one essay okay somewhere in your 10th class or 11th class or 12th you wrote a lot of essays right in your life right did you write all essay as like what a one big uh, one big paragraph no right you will divide that thing into small 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 paragraphs such that that guy who is correcting it will find it easy to what read it easy to understand the gist right and then give you some good marks in the same way right you cannot literally write lot of code in one big file one big file which contains thousand lines of code that is not a good way right 
you divide some co your code into blocks okay and those blocks are nothing but some small programs all right and those small programs are, are nothing but functions okay you will see about the programming concepts all those things once you start learning javascript okay but right now i just give i just gave you one little introduction about what is a function a function is like what a small chunk of program a small what we call block or small piece of program you can put any word there but it's like what a small size program that's the thing right and you can call that program and when you call it it will execute it it will get executed right now when you are calling it when someone clicks on this particular button then you are calling that particular function so which means every time when someone clicks on it this particular function will get called so let's say right calling right yeah you can interrupt me guys you can ask me anything right uh, in case if you find it uh, if you're finding it something hard to understand right now if i click on it you see uh, some alert is being called being thrown right right on our face this page says calling right some alert is being thrown this by this browser why why because when you click on it increase block is getting called what is increase block it's a function and what it has it has only one line and what is that one line throwing alert on user's face saying like what some random some random text text like what calling calling one two three right where is where is it here it is so calling one two three right so that is the thing guys so whenever uh, yeah the point is whatever you are writing whatever you are constructing here the text or button or image or anything right you can literally uh, what add some logic to it okay by writing some javascript so this is a good example of what working with html you see this is html and what you see this is javascript right this is a good example of what working with html and javascript together right i will show you one thing right now and what that thing is uh let me remove all these things okay let me remove this button okay fine i will create uh one slider kind of thing okay one slider kind of thing let's see let's see how that thing will work out so let's say slide text okay first let's start with text right and then how one text you know right text is nothing but just a simple string right right you you good morning okay bye whom all this all texts right so yeah those are stupid things all those things are text right yeah so let's say constant let's say text okay i'll put all my text in one collection okay this collection is like what one basket so i can put lot of text here let's say C plus plus is fast, right? And let's say what Java is too slow. Okay, I'm not judging these things, but these are facts, guys. So yeah, let's say Java has large amount of jobs right yeah if you learn java i'm sure you will get a i mean there, you'll get an opportunity okay for an interview a lot of jobs a lot of jobs on java and of course on dot net also which is nothing but c sharp c sharp 2 has lot of jobs so finally okay how many one two three only three let me check it one two three four okay four four statements are here right four strings are here okay now what i want to do is i want to show each string for two seconds and then move on for next string okay 
uh, right now you see in hello world place i want to show one string and that string is what let's say what is this what is what is a string a string is nothing but one text okay i want to show this text for two seconds and then go for some other text okay and then go for some other text and then go for some other text and then finally come back to the first text you know right so it's like what one slider right for every two seconds show one string or show one text and then go for some other text then go for some other text and finally once you reach the last text show it for two seconds and then come come back to what the beginning again all right now you understood this thing right okay so what i'm going to do here is Mm, I will write one thing called set interval. Okay, what is set interval? It's a function which will get executed for every. I mean, it's a function, guys. That function is already there in the browser. Okay, your browser, your browser. Okay, has some uh, what we call some. Uh, your browser has some understanding, right? And that understanding is what. Your browser, your browser job is to understand HTML. Your browser job is to understand CSS and understand JavaScript also. So when I write set interval, it's a JavaScript, it's a, it's a JavaScript function, and your browser has what better understanding of this particular thing. So it will what it will do whatever it want to do, okay, with set interval code. So set interval is a function which will be understood by the browser, right? And what browser will expect is it will expect some function here. So I've been writing some other function in it. Okay, when I'm writing some other function, we will see all the things later, right? But let me demo uh, how beautiful JavaScript is and how you beautiful your browser will understand that particular JavaScript, right? For how many seconds? Let's say let's increase that. Let's say for every four seconds. Okay, and let's say let's say uh, what for every four seconds. Okay, I want a new text to be displayed here. So let's say, let me give one ID to this particular H1 and then say, what is that ID? Let's say slot. Okay, let's say text slot, right? Here we will deposit our text, right? The first text will be C is fast, second text will be Java is too slow, start text will be Okay, something and fourth text will be some other stupid thing. Doesn't matter, right? Okay. So we will we are going to deposit these text in this slot, and we are going to change that thing for for every four seconds, right? So what I will do is I will create one particular uh, variable. Let i equals to zero, right? Mm. Document dot get element by id okay i'm trying to get one html element what is that element h1 how i'm going to get it by id and what is that id x plot okay you see all this you will learn about all these functions as part of your course these functions are very beautiful guys okay they will give you a lot of control okay of each and everything which is part of your website right so yeah and i'm going to put this thing in one variable constant let's say element okay and then what i will do is okay element dot inner text is equals to text of i i think am i writing good okay yeah text of i then what i will do is i'll just increase i by one okay and here sometimes if i is almost if i is greater than yeah let me write some logic that logic is what if i i mean if it, if if my text is at the last string last one then what after it there is nothing so i don't want it to end it end, end it here again i want again i want to start from what to start from first so that let me write that logic here so if i is greater than the entire length of this x array right i'm just gonna change i to i back to zero that's it okay let's see let's see how this small program works okay where is this thing 
reload it nothing nothing is happening so something might have gone gone wrong yeah nothing is happening why because nowhere i'm calling this particular function i dis i define this thing but i'm not calling it so let's say slide text so let me call it here that's it and now let me reload my app my god right even right now nothing is happening oh something happened just now let's see c++ is fast java is too slow right java has large amount of jobs next what into c sharp also and then again it went undefined now this is a bug guys right this is a bug you see right now you see now you are getting undefined you will get undefined right now why because this is a bug okay so huh. why this bug is happening not sure we have try to understand our program okay we will see that thing later uh, i mean understanding our program where it went wrong that is something which we have to do with little bit patience right i'm sure this bug is happening why because i think i have put the limit little bit more so let's say if i is greater than or equals to x dot length then at that time yeah now i think you cannot uh, you cannot see undefined let's see it right now so see the first one second one one two three four yeah third one now final one yeah this is the final one and it should go back to first one right now yeah you see it went back to first one right and you will keep on doing you can literally decrease the interval let's say let's make it as lightning fast let's say let's make it one second okay uh, let's see you see one second one second delay right if you want it go like full on crazy just make it like what 10 milliseconds and now you will see let's see what will happen now yeah this is what 10 milliseconds uh, right shall we slow it down let let us let us go back to 100 milliseconds yeah so yeah guys so you see we built something with html okay and that is boring with why why because if you don't write this thing right if you don't write javascript it will stay you see uh if you don't write some javascript and you see you see that's it this is like boring right okay you got it right okay imagine a guy uh, i mean this is like a dead body that's it right because uh, it it has it has it has content okay dead body has what structure dead body has what everything but do you know what it doesn't have life that's the point right what javascript does javascript makes okay your html okay start being active okay it will add some logic okay it will add what some life okay it will add some interactivity okay it will bring what it will grab the user's attention right so writing some html is like what i mean imagine you are going to create a robo guys okay imagine you are going to create a robo okay uh, you you will you'll, you'll gather all those pieces you will gather head you will gather what we call hands arms legs everything right and then you put it and then what's the use it will just be like be like one statue right we have a lot of statues okay in our country all over the places right lot of big big statues but what is the use right now what we will do let's go and what make those statues what uh, start walking again now at that time all people will run away from those statues okay let's try then right okay same thing here right the moment each and every statue starts moving okay all people will be will 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 get what whole world will focus on them right the media houses everything right in the same way html also okay whatever you build here will be like a robo that's it okay the lot of content a lot of buttons lot of images right but when you start adding your javascript to it that's when what 
you start what beautifying the things okay that's when you start what your users attention that's when you start your user to make him stay in your website for more than 5 seconds the moment he stays for more than 5 seconds right okay for you that might not be the difference but the moment 100 users or 1000 users stay in your website for more than 5 seconds i'm sure right someone will rush to your website and asking you to what please uh, put my content put my please let me advertise myself in your website i'll give you this month this money for every one month right or for every year or something right imagine imagine making 10000 users stay on your website for 5 seconds that's a big achievement guys okay in this today's world that's a very big achievement okay so how are you going to do that yeah you're going to you're going to bring some life you're going to you're going to add some life to your website or your, to your html css okay and what is that life and that life is what javascript okay so that's the whole point which i want to put in your brain okay this morning right uh, i'm sure this is a stupid dumb example but do you know what but it's still a valid example right yeah it is still a valid one so yeah you know right uh, let me create some more uh, some more uh, one more thing uh, which 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 is what like uh, like of same logic okay i'll create one div here i'll create one div and let's say text slot let's say image slot okay mm. no it is not an image slot or let's say image zone right you want it okay you got it right what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to show you okay the beauty of what two little lines of uh, javascript okay imagine the amount of what we call awesome things which you do if you write lot lines of javascript with lot lines of what features right at that time i'm sure you can n lakh right so that is the thing with very few lines of javascript okay i'm i'm trying to what uh, i'm trying to what show you some stupid things okay such that you will be part of this particular course okay learning javascript right so imagine if you learn it in a proper way if anyone learns it in a proper way and if they write in one proper pattern and if they write some huge length of javascript code what they can do they can do anything they can create a chatbot okay they can create uh, any they can create lot of tools right yeah that's the whole point so what i want to do right now is let me uh, demonstrate one more thing guys uh, let me create one image tag here okay uh let's say let me give some image tag so where should i go to get some images okay yeah i should go to one i'll go to one place called pexels.org yeah right uh let's say let me choose some images so what i will do is i will open this thing in new tab okay and then uh, i will copy the url guys take a look jpeg yeah i'm copying the url right and what i will do i'll just write one more function here function slide images right for every passage for every block of code it is very important for you to give a name which is understood by anyone right when someone sees it slide images which means okay this program is there to what to move images from left to right or some random thing right so yeah naming your functions is very important okay readable code is very important so let's say let images is equals to Mm. all right this is one first url okay mm. comma let me put another one where is this thing let me go back okay there is no going back here this looks 
too outdated, right? Another one, right? Let me go for some other. Let me go for only two more images, uh, right? I, I already got two. Ah, this one. Mm, third image. I think three are enough. Okay, let's go for final one. Yeah, this looks much beautiful. Open image in new tab, right? Fine, so I got three URLs right now. Okay, that's fine guys. Mm, what I will do is, I'll just put this image here and let's see what will happen. I'll just put this image and I'll just reload it. Yeah, you see this image is here. Very, very big image. My goodness. Right? It's totally too big. Let's say, let's give some width. Let's say width equals to 400. And then refresh it. Okay, 400. Or let's say, let's bring it down to 200. Or let's say height, guys. I think if I set the height, that would be better. Width also will be automatically set. Yeah, height is fine. Instead of 200, let's go for 80. Hmm? You see? Yeah, fine. And what I will do is, I'll just in decrease the interval, guys. Okay, instead of 1000 milli, instead of 100 milliseconds, I'll make it 1000 milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds is nothing but it's just like what one second right and i will multiply it by 10 so it will be it will be like what for every 10 seconds okay you know right uh, the above content will change this content will change for every 10 seconds right i don't want to change it for every 100 milliseconds leave it now you see guys this text is fine I mean, i'm sorry this image is fine right but it is boring right okay it just stays there it doesn't do anything right it just stays there it doesn't do anything Right, so what we will do, let's add some life to it by adding what? Some JavaScript. So within the same program, okay, what I will do is same thing. I'll copy and paste this thing. Or yeah, let me write it again. Set interval, okay, I will send one function here, okay. And for this function should execute for how many seconds? For every three, se three seconds. So I gave 3000 milliseconds, right? 2000 milliseconds is equals to three seconds, right? Yeah. Now what I want to do, I want to uh, get the, for every three seconds, okay, image zone, right? Yeah. What I want to do, I want to uh, get document, I want to get element by ID, and what is that ID? Image hyphen zone, right? Is it image hyphen zone? Yeah, image hyphen zone, right? That's fine. Once I get the element, what I will do is, okay, I will just say element dot set attribute, okay? Since it's an image tag, I will set a source attribute and the value will be, what will be the value, right? Mm, value will be once again here let i equals to zero okay and value will be my images array okay of this i index and i will increase this i for every i plus one right for every three seconds i'll increase this i okay and when it reaches the last image it should start from zero so if i is less than images dot length sorry it's not less than it's greater than or equal to image dot length immediately okay make it start from zero again right and then let's call this 
applied images. Okay, let's see this thing. Okay, nothing, nothing is happening. One, two, three. No, nothing is happening. Slide images. Okay, images array. If i is greater than image long length, so yeah, constant get element by id. Image zone. Is image zone the correct one? Oh, there are two. It will get confused. Look, I gave two different names, right? So when I try to call it, Okay, two things. Division will this this div tag will come and this image tag will come. Now out of these two, it will get confused. Okay, which one it has to target, right? So let's give, let's remove name for it. Yeah, and now let's refresh it. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, so of course, another once again another stupid thing, but still, what it is much better than what having only one image throughout what um, the time which user spends on this particular website, right? So yeah, there is. So JavaScript, okay, literally adds life to your web apps, okay, and this is a very 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 small small what proof, okay, for that particular statement. And you know what? There's a CSS also. And what is CSS? CSS literally, uh, what we call, CSS literally gives even better appearance, okay? It will literally grab the user's attention, okay? Make your website look good, have a lot of style. Okay, CSS is all, all about style, guys. Okay, style, right? So yeah, so this is uh, one simple example of what bringing HTML and JavaScript together Okay, to show what little interactivity, but trust me guys. Okay, this is a, a demonstration which should happen. Okay, in one random Sunday somewhere in 2003 or 2005. Okay, then at that time people would have what astonished, right? Even in 2003 or 2005, right? Even in 2007, if I show the same thing, or even if 2010 I show the same thing, that's the what pretty outdated. Now I'm doing this thing in 2021, which is literally pretty outdated. But do you know what? Right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is just a what a simple proof that what these all things are what implemented long ago, long ago, long ago. Yeah. So learn JavaScript. Okay, try a lot of things. Get your hands dirty and what? Uh, yeah. Uh, do some do some different different things. That's the whole point. Right? If you have any questions, guys, you can ask me. Okay. Uh, you can interrupt me. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't explain everything from the basic way because this is just a demo, right? Yeah, uh, you know what the code structure is, what is happening here, right? And what is set interval, you know, all these things once we want to uh, go deep into JavaScript, right? So yeah, that will happen as part of our course. Now guys, uh, this is a simple HTML one, uh, right? Now what I will do is I'll just try to create one React app, let's see, how powerful React is, right? And as and I said, React is the uh, React is like advanced tool. Okay, if you are a beginner, uh, uh, let's say, imagine, um, imagine, imagine right now, right now, if I if I put in front of a, a, a calculation right now, let's say, uh, I mean, uh, how should I say, guys? Imagine you are learning math. There is a difference between calculating with algebra and calculating with calculus, right? Calculus is like what? It will give you even much better precise results on complex problems, right? Algebra is like what basic level. So what we are doing with your HTML and CSS and J JavaScript right now is basic level, right? And to solve something which is advanced, uh, to solve some complex problem, you need what? Some uh, efficient tool, okay? Some high level advanced tool. And that advanced tool itself is React, guys. Okay, so yeah, let me introduce you introduce you to React uh, code and React architecture also, like how I introduced to HTML code and JavaScript architecture, right? So there is a thing, guys. So yeah, let me do that. Okay, so how should I introduce you guys to React? React is highly complex, guys. Okay, when I say complex, yeah, 
it's complex uh so how complex it is why because uh, i will give you one word one statement and that statement will describe you okay how complex it is right your javascript doesn't understand what you are writing in react js yeah it is that complex right your javascript doesn't understand right it's like what uh, you going into russia and trying to understand their language or you going into where japan or china trying to understand their language right yeah same thing whatever you're writing in react js even you write html even you write css even you write some javascript that is not uh, being understood by your browser your browser cannot understand it okay let's see let's see that thing in, in real time right now okay so i'm going to create one react application so how i how i should create it okay there is a tool called npx what is npx that is a part of your node js and what is node js node js is a runtime environment of javascript and what is runtime okay we will see all these questions as part of our course let me write jump uh, into demonstration so npx create react app right it's like giving commands okay it's like you are it's like you are a minister and you are giving commands to what someone who is working under you npx create react app that's it and then you will give what the name of that particular react app let's say what demo1 demo underscore one right and then enter yeah guys uh, feel free to pitch in and ask some questions no matter how stupid it is doesn't matter right you can ask you see right to create a html app i just created one file but to create a react js app you know what i cannot literally create it with my own hands okay i need one tool to create it to create it right why well, because it is that complex you cannot literally create uh, apps and you cannot literally do everything on your own right you need one tool and that tool will literally create you a react js project right why because react js itself is complex one right and we are using a complex tool a highly advanced tool right to create web apps in a much easier way in a much better way okay so that is the thing guys it is still taking time it is installing lot of stuff you see lot of packages it, it is installing right yeah this is the what we call introduction to highly complex tool it will come with what complex setup okay and lot of things before even before you get started okay seems like seems like everything is done you see creating a new react app okay it install few packages packages nothing but some other libraries right let me open this okay let me go to demo 1 which is my react project and let me open the code there let me open it in my code editor what happened okay yeah you see guys it created few folders right it it created node modules public source and few other files you see did i create it or did one tool create it right the answer is one tool created it why because if i want to create on it on my own it will take lot of time okay though even though someone is an expert expert right it will take lot of time and right uh, why do i mean um, my point is if, if if there is one tool which is doing all the job and why you will literally put more effort on your own let why don't you use that tool that's the whole point right so you see that tool literally created all these folders all these projects <clears throat> right why why because react js react js wants you to fall or to fit into one particular approach okay exactly uh, it's not like i will create my file and i will write everything right there no it is not like that 
okay why because react js is there to solve some very very big problems and when you want one tool to uh, solve one very very big problem first of all you have to know how to use that tool so at the time you have to start thinking in its way right okay you you, you cannot literally understand some other tool in your current way of thinking right so that is the thing guys okay react js approach is totally different okay so that is the thing so and do you know what it is very easy react js approach is very very easy uh, right now what i will do is uh, what should i do right now what i will do is uh, i'll just do one thing and that thing is i will just push uh, i'll just what push a little bit too forward all right uh, and what i will do is i'll create one news application you know right news daily morning we hear a lot of stupid news right so let's try to create that create one news app right now okay uh, yeah let's try to do that for that what i will do is i will open hey raj sorry to interrupt you yeah yeah Hello. yeah madam uh, hello everyone uh, this is lakshmi uh, this is lakshmi from career it important info from our end the regular sessions will be starting from tomorrow onwards and the time should be from 7 to 8 am est so if you are in uh, people who are interested if you, you can reach us then the numbers whatever i am going to provide in chat and also please do check your mails for other info thank you yeah guys uh yeah after a small break uh, let's come back to yeah let's back to our uh, yeah we, we what i'm trying to do is uh right now what i'm trying to do is i want to create one new set okay uh let's see let's see how we can do that so and i want to i want to put react js uh into the into the practice here okay i want to do with the help of react js so there is one uh, api guys api is nothing but uh, right uh, yeah there is one api guys what is api api is like what uh, api is like one post box where you have lot of letters right and uh, you are like a postman you go there and pick the letter and read it that's it okay uh, so the point here is uh yeah api is like what uh, yeah api is like what one big store okay and that store has lot of data right and what you can do you can you can literally make a request to that store to request to earth this particular kind of data okay you can go to that store and ask what please give me this this uh, kind of uh, data or this lot of data or this batch of data or this amount of data this size of data right so api is like what it's like a it's like a what a big store okay and the api is like what uh controlling that particular store right so we will see more about api as part of our course right now i cannot dwell more into what explaining of api let me yeah it's already yeah let me jump into the what uh, implementation so what i will do is i have to get a key to get a key i have to register and to register right never ever what we call give your actual email right there are lot there are lot of temporary mails okay just give them so i'm just trying to find one temporary email right now loading 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 yeah i got it i think right copy and paste it first name never give your real name right and email password strong password all right uh password should be let's say what stupid news app that's it i am an individual and i am not a robo i agree to the terms of course doesn't matter uh let's see the password again stupid news app okay uh never for this website 
yeah i got my api key guys cool so with this api key i can make a http request right now and what this news uh, guy this news api the server here it will accept all the requests which has this api key okay let me go back to my account right now okay a uh, lot of stuff okay let me go back to back to home okay and let's see the documentation okay uh let's see node js javascript right so node js or let's say endpoints mm. okay cool guys what i will do is okay let me run my react app npm run npm start you see to run your react app you need to start one server from that server your react app will be tunneled right your react app will be sent so react is highly complex but learning it implementing it implementing it is very easy and it is 10 times easier than what angular angular is like what typical man it is highly it has what like complex architecture okay that's the reason many startups they don't go for angular right many startups you see react is the mostly preferred one okay guys we have some app some basic app running at local host 300 okay what is this 300 everything will be talked to you as part of your react course right it's just like one particular port okay react is running react app is running from a server right and that server is at that server address is what 300 local host 300 okay cool now let me do one thing let me go back to app.js and clear everything what is it okay i'll clear everything right and here i'll start writing some one second guys one second uh, give me a second uh, give me a second guys just 10 10 seconds disable reload required this reload i'm disabling few extensions that's fine since i reloaded it i'm sure uh, npm start i should do it do it again why because you see uh, let's do it again right uh, and what is happening yeah nothing cool so what i will do is i will import entire react okay i just want to show you how easy react is okay you, once you learn all these basics i'm sure it will be cake walk for you okay so yeah constant app okay let's give one function right and let's see export pivo rt default app. okay and right now from here what i want to return is i want to return html right now right let's say h1 hello world right Fine. I think uh, things are things should go good. Okay. Let me reload it. What happened, guys? One second, guys. Uh, something wrong is happening. Give me a second. Uh, this is ZSH default. I'll kill this process. Right? There is no other process. And why is still? Why is this still running? I killed everything. Okay. I'll do one thing. I'll close this editor again. I'll close this editor. Right? And let's see. Yeah. This is stupid. The point is, I close my server. 
I close my React JS uh, editor itself, right? And still it is running. And now that is wrong. I'll open it again. Uh, I'll start again. Ah, literally too slow. NPM start. Yeah, guys, uh, till now, no questions. Uh, right? Don't let the demo be that easy for your instructor. Right? Ask some questions. Right? And make your instructor struggle to give answers. Okay? Yeah, it's loading, guys. Uh, you see, localhost 300, it's loading. Uh, yes. Taking some time, let it take. Okay. Yeah, let's wait. Uh, uh, I'll be. Yeah, you see, uh, our React app, our React has React app has just right started. What I will do is I'll create one input here. Let's say I N T U T. Okay, some stupid input, right? And I will constant. Let's say uh, value. Uh, set value. What I'm trying to do is, uh, you will see it right now. You set, right? And I'll give initial string, right? Every time when user changes the value here on change, what I will do is, I will give one function, and that function will capture the event, and then what I will do is, I will set value with even dot current target dot value. To understand all these things, you need some JavaScript knowledge, guys. So without without letting JavaScript, without teaching JavaScript, if I teach ReactJS, that will be like what? Highly stupid thing, okay? So yeah, I'm just uh, going with the uh, demonstration here. Just try to yeah, get that thing. And then what I will do is I'll put one H1 here, let's say, Put value here, okay? And let's see. Okay, something is working right now. Something is happening, right? Okay, fine. Things are working right now. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay. Mm, then I'll put one button here. B U T T O N button. Let's say. go okay so what my point here is if i write something like business okay then press enter immediately i should see all the business news you got it right if i say sports when i press enter immediately i should see all the sports news if i say like what like what guys like what uh tech i should see all the tech right if, if i say science and then press go here, I should see all the science related news. So that's what I'm gonna uh, aim at. That's what, I'm, uh, that's what I'm gonna try at right now. Let me do the dead thing with entire React JS. And what, of course, we have our API here who can give such news for us, okay? So let's see, uh, let's see right now. So how to get news? Let's see, searching for news articles. Yeah, this is the thing which I'm looking for. So what he is expecting me to do, check the full documentation, of course, I will check it. I got the API key, okay. Uh, okay, I got the API key, that, that is other thing. Once again, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, once again, let me check the documentation. Searching for news articles is the thing which I wanna do. Query Apple. Okay, I think, yeah. Uh, oh God. Darna Monica. So let's see, let's see patiently about at least this one. Or this one. Why no code is here, okay. 
okay guys i'm going to use this endpoint i'm going to use this endpoint and i'm going to put whatever uh, i want to put okay so constant url is equals to this thing okay cool now what i will do is every time when user such as something here and then click go this browser will connect to the what to the to the to the server and that server is what news api you got it right and that server has lot of data behind it so that server will send what is the uh, that 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 server will send the data which i'm looking for so every time when i when user clicks go my machine okay my browser from my machine from my laptop which you are li literally looking at that will literally communicate with the server which is remotely in somewhere perhaps in north america or europe we don't know or even in mumbai we don't know okay so this server right it will communicate here it will come it will that request will reach here reach to news api right so let's see that thing right now so how to communicate uh, how to let my react app communicate with what with that particular server i need one extra package okay why because i am not an expert to write that entire code from my scratch i mean from scratch with my bare hands so what i will do is i will rely on one third party package called axios so i am installing it okay i stands for installing and npm is like what a tool which will install all the packages which you want to install so yeah let's wait for some more time so with this package what what i'm going to do is i'm going to send a http request and that request will reach this server right and later the new api server will analyze the request what is that request what data that this request is asking for right it will do all that analyzation and then it will send that particular data okay so it is as simple as i just explained guys it's still taking time and uh, if you want to ask some questions just ask it's taking a lot of time meanwhile what i will do is yeah i'll try to get the key he is already here let's say control c and key equals to instead of api key i'll paste this thing okay and here control x constant get proper url is equals to it will be a function right it will take a query which will be like a string and then it will return my god uh what it should return it will return this entire url control x remove this thing put the url here and where should that query go yeah that query part should be dynamically binded here okay yeah that's it and get proper url should be called when let's say constant go and search okay so url is equals to get proper url and then i will send the value to it now i'll get the proper url okay i hope oh god npm install axios that's it and it is taking this much time wait uh, okay let it take let it take not an issue right go and search and this thing has to be called on click event on click of this particular button go and search should happen right ha uh, yeah i think it is still taking a lot of time uh, meanwhile uh, i just let me give you one point okay okay let me put some 
points in front of you this is the best time to learn javascript why because javascript 5 years earlier it is not that developer friendly or it is not that uh, what learning friendly right now javascript it has become much easier imagine you have an, a big collection of arrays and you want to filter it the logic if you the logic okay should be written in those days in 2015 will be very more okay number of lines written will be very very more very more okay right now it is very less so the point is as days are progressing as years are going okay programming languages they will improve guys they will improve a lot okay and uh, it will be much more easier okay it will every, i mean every programming language want to satisfy the developer who is using it right okay if a programming language is finding very hard to use one particular language immediately he will leave it so there will be no market for it right so all the tools all the browsers okay if javascript is not that popular this mozilla google and all other people who are investing right on javascript they will be on what i mean there will be no use for them right so the point is javascript is not like that okay it's widely used language if you see right now all over the world what is the most used language is javascript why because websites that's it websites everywhere websites are there right uh, every websites and what are the and what is the main thing in the website right now html css and javascript so javascript is widely used one and this is the best time to learn javascript why because it is much more easier than its previous year why because its features got improved everything went fine uh, i did some mistake guys that the reason it is taking this much time but okay i don't want to stop it why because i'm afraid that it will take even much more time if i stop it and try in different way generally this should not happen okay uh, what i'm trying to say guys yeah right now in javascript i mean every i mean javascript the javascript latest version of javascript is trying to impress developers such that more developers will adopt it right so this is the best time and what will be the even much more best time future and if you want to wait until then right yeah you can choice your choice so yeah let's see go and search right go and search will go here get proper url and proper url will come right let's see axios dot get and i will put the url here right and this will give me a promise and what is a promise that's a very big uh, what we call concept which can be taught by which can be learned by anyone within 5 minutes yeah it is that big but you need to have a lot of javascript foundations to learn about promise that is other thing let's see the response console.log response dot data right let's see it let's see things in action what happened no axios i didn't import it okay i imported it then what happened cannot resolve axios my god control x what i will do is i'll just rerun my app again i just install one package right so it is trying it is finding it hard to integrate that app for that package that's fine we will rerun it again not only javascript guys most of the programming language right now okay you take java right you take i mean things are becoming much easy so in other words this is the best time to become software engineer okay with java or with any language which you choose every language guys as time is going on they want i mean it it will it will aim to become much easy not only language even the tools like react or not only leave, leave about react leave about front end development okay let's talk about programming in programming there is any tool okay after 5 years that tool will become much more easier to use why because that is what improvement is right everyone every tool aims developer to use it even much more 
again and again okay every tool every tool aim is what to make developer feel happy using it right so yeah so don't be afraid right even right now uh, i mean all all the tools right now are much more harder way back in 2016 or 2015 yeah trust me react in 2015 is what really awkward really hard but efficient it, it does the thing it does the work but it is very hard react right now is much easy guys right let's say uh, let's say what what let's say let's say space x and let's go let's click on go let's see what happened nothing happened nothing so i'm sure our code is not working right let's see on change i'm asking go and search what go and search should do it should get the url it should get okay let's see let's say dot catch and let's see perhaps there are few errors okay console dot log error ha huh. yeah let's say space x go nothing is happening why go and search i'm calling it guys i'm calling it go and search i right, let me put the debugger here let me check it yeah sometimes things like this happen right uh, just be patient i'm debugging let's say some random stuff and let's click on go what my function is not even getting called what happened guys or let's see go to it's working then what did actually happen here okay let me remove and let me put my function directly here ha ah, yeah i think click on go to it is not working why constant go and search go and search you see i gave on change here that's the stupid thing okay i should give on click right why because i'm clicking there right on click now it will work now let's say space x clear everything and then click on go to yeah debugger has initiated and then let's go you see i got six articles right spacex to launch some some random random let's say what shall i search ipl see how do uh, let's see uh, right from spacex to ipl how how low i just stooped right you see yeah there are a lot of news which are coming let's search for what uh, let's search for what let's say let's search for shall we search for penguins go to you see very sad only two results okay and even those two results has nothing to do with penguins right nothing so yeah we are getting results guys so we are getting what are the results which we want right mm, let's say global warming go to right yeah we got four results fine so we are getting the data it's time for us to show the data right uh, so to show the data what we need let's analyze the data okay you see guys i will just uh, make it big you see each and every data has what a lot of details it has a description it has a title it has a url image also it has a image url also right so what i will do is right now okay cool uh here take a look constant articles set articles you state okay 
QMD array. Fine. Okay. So once I get the data, okay, this data dot articles, okay, set articles response dot. It's over, guys. Just wait for five minutes. I will end the lesson. All right. I will. Sorry. I will end the demo. This is not the lesson. I will end the demo. Okay. Cool. I am just getting the articles and storing the articles in articles variable. Okay. So now what I will do is here. Okay. I will take my articles and then I will map it. I will apply since it's an array. I will apply a map function. Okay. And this map function will take a callback. It's not a callback, but it's like a, another lambda function. What is lambda function? You will know it, right? Imagine you're sending a function to another function, then that function which is going is a lambda function, right? So yeah, you got the element. Now what I will do is I will return a div right now. This div will have a h2. And this H2 will have description. Let's say what E L dot D S C R I P T I O N. Okay. And then wait. Right. And then it will also have an image. Not IMG, right? Yeah height just 40 pixels and then url will be ah oh, not url source will be ah el dot what url to image that's fine okay and then content hmm. right let's put content here El dot content. Okay, I think this is fine. This should this should fine. This should work. Okay, so let me close everything. Okay, shall I start with what? Come on, guys. Uh, shall I start with what? All right. Let's say global. Warming. Go to one, two, three. Right? Yeah, you got the description. You got the image. My God. Yeah, you got some data. Right? Uh, why it is like this? Okay. Right. Uh, let me make it 120. Right. Mm. Now, guys, uh, let's say SpaceX. Click on go to. Yeah, you see SpaceX news, right? Okay. I mean, you're seeing it, right? Uh, let's say IPL. Right, the magic right here. She's also playing IPL. Uh, next, let's say what? Some random book, books. Okay, yeah, right. For every query, I mean you, I mean uh, yeah, right. For every thing you search, right. Let's say sports. Just say sports. Go to, yeah, right. See, so my point here is I cannot prove right now. Why? Because uh, I don't want to write code and I don't want to extend the section. I don't, and I literally don't want to write the code. And uh, but I want to put one point here. The point is writing this thing with simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, guys, right? I'm sure the demo should be around. The, I mean, the demo will take what around four to five hours for me right 
yeah there are other people who can do within 2 hours also but overall the point is whatever you are seeing right now here it is very easy you can do it in 30 to 20 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes because because what it's a react js thing right i mean i'm sure even in 15 minutes also we can do this thing why because it's a react js thing right if you want to do this thing okay with what with their javascript okay i mean with literally raw html css and javascript guys it will take a lot of time it will take literally one and a half hour right so why react js is there react js is there to make you develop applications as quickly as possible okay as a front end developer okay you have clients right give me a second guys ah uh, where is charger yeah so as a developer i mean you know right you have i mean you you have banks hotels uh, right uh, fast food chains mcdonalds marriott uh, like what uh, like banks like what a lot of things like like goldman sachs or uh, more a lot of a lot of big big companies right they will be your clients right i mean when you join infosys or when you join uh, any mnc they will be your clients and your clients they want some feature to be rolled out the very not feature sorry but they want one improvement to be rolled out the very next day at the time react js is there okay uh, what we call to make you happen things po- uh, as fastly as possible right if you still stuck with base javascript it will take a lot of your time lot of your effort and that is not worth for such things for such requirements right so that is our take away guys so that is the thing with this thing happen right now quickly why because because we are js right so yeah so with react js you can develop applications as quickly as possible and as efficient as possible and if you use it in a better way you can do a lot of uh, lightweight web apps okay so to learn react js you have to go through html css and javascript you cannot directly jump into the what uh, calculus level without knowing algebra level right so keep that thing in mind learn algebra first very well right why because calculus has algebra in it right in the same way learn html css and javascript very well okay and then choose react js right and before learning all these things uh, do some research on your own is it a good choice to make what be a front end developer right now or to do what to learn react js right now or to learn html css or javascript right now okay do research on your own okay and then take a decision guys so yeah that's what a uh, point which uh, i want to convey and finally guys yeah this is the best time to learn front end development why because you have a lot of tools like right react js angular is right now in 11th version i think imagine from second version to 11th version how enhancements how many enhancements were integrated into it right right now it is much more easier okay so yeah yeah guys so that's it guys uh, not only for front end development even for data science or even for cloud or anything this is the best time uh, to be anything what you want to be in software engineering why because companies are pushing forward to make their tools much easier to get learned right you see aws azure or google cloud the more easier they are the more people they will learn and the more people they will learn their market share will increase right so today i'm sure for right now for you anyone from you with 30 or 40 minutes of introduction you will deploy an app on google cloud or aws why because they are that easy right so it's the best time guys to become anything what you want to be in software okay live about front end development okay I, i'm sure i talk more about front end development right but let's talk about software so yeah do some research on your own choose the uh, right field or field which you which is suitable for you which interests for you and then yeah train them uh, get trained right why because they why because you need someone to mentor you right you need someone to show you the basic things right so yeah that's it guys that's it from my side and i'll stay for some time here if you have any questions or anything just ask me right yeah and thanks for your time guys
yeah guys if you have any questions uh, you can ask me